I think the first phone call I made then was to your sister. I, I didn't prepare say, her at all. No, and I wanted to talk to her and I couldn't. No. I couldn't do it and I ended up giving the phone to you. She was at home, wasn't she, with yeah. mum, waiting yeah. for the gas man. Yeah. And then she had to break the news to yeah. mum and dad. Wow. And then I waited until I was sure that there was someone with my mum before I phoned and Did told you? her what happened, yeah. I told my brother first. Because everyone knew we'd gone in, didn't they? Well, yeah, because I was meant to have this baby any time, mm. wasn't I? And that had been going on for six weeks. Like, well, any day now, any day now. So every, everybody knew the day it finally arrived. Yeah. I don't know, my, my, my body shut down after that and nothing was happening. And, do you know, I was actually grateful to have that extra time at the time for me and Dylan um, and, and it didn't really bother me that things weren't happening. You know, I was quite kind of happy in my own little world with him, I suppose. I know you were going spare. I know mum and dad were stressing out my parents and... But it was, I don't know, maybe I knew what was coming and at that point we would be, you know, once he was born that would be it, that they wouldn't, we wouldn't be going home with him, so hold on to him as, as long as you could. I don't know. But I didn't realise I wasn't well. No, you were spaced out. <laughs> you weren't well. No. But like I said, the, the midwives that were with you were fantastic. Really, really encouraging you and trying to speak things up. The lady <laughs> who she humoured me, didn't she? I had the catheter in and I told her I needed a wee. And she yeah. was like, right, okay, no you don't. I said, yes I do. Do you remember that? She un unhooked you from that, I don't know how many, two trips, walked you to the toilet and then... I fell asleep on it. <laughs> you holding me up. Do you know, even those sad hours that we had, what, nearly 60 hours, wasn't it, from finding out to actually yeah. having him, that there were moments there of such kindness and, and humour as well. It, it's, it, it's, it's strange, it's so strange, yeah. but... I remember the last half hour there, because it had been quite calm, I guess, relatively mm -hmm. calm, with just two midwives, and you were really struggling to deliver. And then the last half hour it was like, okay, I'm going to give you some help. And suddenly the room filled up with people. So we're going to take you to theatre. And I thought, I'm going to lose you now. After losing the baby, I'm going to lose you as well. And going into theatre, because I'd never been in a theatre before, it was just really scary. And I remember clearly seeing the clock on the wall. And then half an hour later, someone said, um, do you want to hold your baby? And I was like, what? And I held him, and it was just amazing. It was it just, he was perfect. And then we had quite a lot of time with him afterwards. Does it feel like this no. though? Is that long though? I don't, I don't know. I, I wish somebody had said at the time, just don't rush, just take your time. Because I was still spaced out with the morphine and goodness knows what else I'd had and, and the whole shock of it all. I can't. I remember bits of, of being able to, you know, touch his hands and feet and and hold him. Although I was I was terrified of holding him because I kept him passing out again. So I wish, you know, somebody had said it's okay. Take your time. Mm. You, you don't, you know. I didn't feel rushed. Though. I don't think they 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 made no, us feel that we. No. I think they prepared us really well. I suppose I just wish that we hadn't been left quite so alone at that point. Now, you know, mm. I, I know people now, you know, people say, well, I've, I had so many hours and I don't remember mm. much. And, and that, that feels really sad. And the photographs, you know, we had photos. I, I feel, you know, I, I feel I can't share them. And, and that just feels really sad because I know people now are getting photos that they can put up and yeah. they can share and 
and I'm, I'm so I'm so glad they've got that. I wish I wish we had that. I wish I could share. I mean, he was he was perfect, like you said, you know. But no one knows. No one really knows what he looked like. No. But the hand and footprint. That that was that was incredible. Um, I carry them in my handbag, you know. Yeah, I know, you were scared of losing them, losing them somewhere. I know. The a long time. Yeah. Going down to Cardiff, which we did in the end. After the funeral. That was that was hard, wasn't it? It was. I remember dreading the day, but actually felt really composed. Um You know, yeah, I, I, I just want, I remember wanting it to be perfect though, and, you know, it, it was it was the last thing we could do for him, so it had to be... Had well, I think he there. chose his resting place, because on your due date, we drove past that cemetery, and we, you know, you don't drive past cemeteries and think about a resting place. You said and it though, didn't you? Think of, remember this, when, when, we, when my time comes, yeah. that's what you said. And a week later, we're planning a funeral for our own little boy. I feel at peace up there, and you always say it, don't you? Yeah. It's very peaceful. It is very peaceful. Yeah. And you found that Cardiff was quite. It's nice being able nice to, to away run away, people, escape, yeah. run away. Nobody knew who you were, you weren't going to be bumped into, nobody was going to ask you that awkward question about, oh, if you had your baby yet. No. But then it all happened when I came back. Yeah. All those, all those contacts at work. Oh, so what did you have? And that was tough. I feel, I don't know, I, I feel, I feel glad in a way that, you know, for us it was the right thing to, the right thing to do was to wait that year to then try again. I don't think, I know it, everyone's different, but I, I needed the time, I remember my mid, the community yeah. manager saying that, she, she said, listen, you've been pregnant for nine months, your body's been through a lot. Just, just think about that. Um, and she, she was, she was amazing. Yeah. She was so supportive, and having her at the funeral was amazing. Yeah. Because she was so much part of that pregnancy, that whole journey. When she visited us in hospital and, and came to our home on the day of the funeral, and, and then being there for the next pregnancy. I know. And not having to say anything to <laughs> her, you know. She went she went out of her way, she did. She really did. <laughs>